talk about getting wealthy here. We talk about being rich. We talk about starting businesses. We talk about the results. We talk about the end point on Instagram, YouTube. You see a lot of end point situations where people have made a lot of money and they're buying the Lambo and they're buying the nice car house and they they have all of these results that come from people putting in the work. There isn't a lot of conversations about the work or what goals involve what's involved in becoming rich or wealthy. And you know, I I think one of the reasons that there aren't many conversations about this is I've noticed on YouTube I've noticed on Instagram, I've noticed on Facebook that when people talk about the work, people tune out. People, this is why I think that so many people are so easily scammed because when, you know, many years ago, I was saying that it was going to take you two to three years to really get rolling and people tune me out. They didn't want to hear that message, but that message is the truth. Typically, even the most successful criminals have to put in work. And I want you guys to be successful. And I want you guys to get this notion in your head. You got to work. I was having this conversation with someone on Facebook who was talking about all his millionaire mentors were at home at 530. And I know that to be the truth now but it wasn't the truth in the beginning in the beginning there was long hours and this is what we're going to talk about right now you're witnessing me take off from LAX and the path to getting wealthy the path to building something it's pretty much like a plane taking off. You know, a plane uses 9 to 12% of its fuel taking off and ascending to the cruising attitude. That's how it is when you're on the path to wealth and success. You got to burn a lot of energy to get to that cruising attitude. But everybody just wants to get off the ground. Forget the burning of the fuel, forget the expenditure of attitude, of energy, and just get to cruising attitude and start making that money. And I'm going to say it, and I'm going to be blunt. Most folks are lazy. That's the issue. There are many folks who are just plain, downright lazy. And you want to know if you're a lazy person? Do you have good friendships? Do you have good relationships with your family? Do you have a good romantic relationship? Because if you're lazy, more than likely you don't. Because you're looking for things to be super simple, super easy. If you look at your life, if you've not been able to maintain a romantic relationship, more than likely it's because you're lazy. And what does having a romantic relationship has to do with starting a business? a lot the best gardens have the best gardeners and if you can't maintain a relationship for more than a few months i remember i knew this chick who was literally married two months and got a divorce i've had casual sexual relationships that lasted two to three years I was able to keep a casual sexual relationship alive and functioning for two to three years. Yeah, you got grown people out here getting married and calling it quits after mere weeks. You know why? They lazy. Plain and simple, they lazy. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the effort. 
And this is one of the things on the path of wealth and success that once you wrap your mind around this situation, it's going to get easy. Because see, the reason it's hard is because your expectations are flawed. You feel, I, I remember when I was working on my YouTube channel and I was telling someone, yeah, I've been working on it for six months. I've made no money. That's like, really? You've been working that long? Six months in the grand scheme of time is nothing. See, this is one of the reasons that the things that gets in the, the way of becoming wealthy, rich, or successful is expectations. People expect immediate gratification. They expect the good life with little to no effort very soon. It is your expectations that the reason that you are not rich, wealthy, or successful because you like, well, it, this is one of the weirdest things that we as human beings do. We as humans have these strange timelines and we have these strange, it should cost this much. I live in a wealthy neighborhood. Yeah, I'm rich for the folks who want to make jokes. Yes, I'm richer than you. Hate me, kiss my butt. I don't care. Facts. I got documented evidence of this on this YouTube channel if you care to look. And I'm being aggressive about that because this is one of the things and uh, someone, the crypto guy put in his comments that whenever he tells people that he's successful, that people expect for him to provide proof websites. And that this is one of the things that when you meet people who are successful and you have a conversation with them they take it at face value whenever i'm in first class and i meet another business owner and we start chopping it up no one's ever in like 12 15 years have ever asked for proof or this or that they just took my word for it because of the conversation which brings up another issue to the path to wealth and success. And this one is going to hurt. Most of you do not have the experience. Most of you don't have the wisdom to judge a millionaire. I'm being silent for a reason because I had folks on the channel talking about where's your Lambo? Where's this? Where's your mansion? Once again, the qualifications to be rich is to make $15,000 a month or more because that puts you like five or six times above average income. All your bills become easy unless you're just a crackhead with crazy spending habits. That's rich. $15,000 a month is $185,000 a year. There are many families of four, five, and six people who can live well on that money. Live very well. So rich isn't like you got a Lambo. Rich isn't that you out going to the Louis Vuitton store and spending $16,000. That's part of it. But once again, going back to expectations, going back to how people don't have the wisdom or the experience to really judge wealthy people. This is one of the reasons that I've done the videos, the rich people of Atlanta. I live in the neighborhood. I know how these folks get down. And I've had people want to argue with me because they have rich folk fantasy. Well, you know, if I was rich, I'd be doing this or I'd be doing that. And, you know, I, I did a video like, how do you know when you're rich? You're making $15,000 a month. Because, see, there's a big difference between being rich and being wealthy. You could be rich and you still have to work for your money. NFL players are rich, but they work for their money. When you're wealthy, your money works for you. It's a totally different mindset. It's a totally different game. Like, let's look at Ty Lopez. You know, people say this, and once again, this shows you how uneducated people are. Well, you know, Ty Lopez, he just spent $2 million on YouTube ads. 
He had the two million before he was the Ty Lopez we all know today. He had two million dollars. And people are just like, well, that's just simple. You know that 99.5% of the world doesn't have two million dollars. It isn't like you could go out into your yard and start pulling hundred dollar bills off the trees. Two million dollars is a substantial amount of money that he had before he became the Ty Lopez that we all know. And people are like, yeah, he just bought some YouTube ads. Like it was super easy. Like it was super simple. Like he yeah, like like you could come up with two million dollars like Ty Lopez. When I look on Facebook and I see people's advertising budgets, it is rare that I see people spending million dollars on campaigns. These are your big brands. So once again, because you don't have the experience or the wisdom, you look at that like it's just something that was quite remarkable that he had two million before he became the Ty Lopez. We know there's all been there's all these parodies and stuff. But the genius, the Ty Lopez that is missed is this dude knows how to make money and he's known how to make money for a long time. And people are such haters. They hate so hard because I remember I was dating this girl and I liked this girl. I liked her some fierce. And I was like, let's go drive around the rich folks neighborhood. And she was like, uh, uh. She said, until I get in a position where I can afford a house like that, I don't want to see one. It just hurts too much to see something I can't have. And I was just like, but it's inspirational, baby. Let's do it. She didn't want to do it. We got into a fight because she did not want to be inspired because of her little hating heart because she couldn't have it right then and right now. That She didn't even want to look at it. And this is how many people are. And this is one of the 48 laws of power. Hate what you can't have. And so many people have adopted this. This law of hating. Like Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. The dude was great. And there was this one little hiccup where he got accused of sexual assault. Went to court, beat the charge. Should have been over. Nope, nope, nope. The haters are bringing it back. Because if you look at the genius of Kobe Bryant, he had that incident and he rebuilt himself. He rebuilt his image. He became a family man and he got endorsement deals. That's genius for him to do that, for him to make that comeback. But so many people are like, well, you know, if a woman says you did something, you did it. Simp Nation! Simps. I've been watching Paternity Court. I'm a little hyped about Simp Nation. But once again, the path to wealth and success is very much like a plane taking off. In the beginning, you're going to burn a lot of energy. You're Unless you're just born rich or super connected, this is what's going to happen. I was the product of of a single mother environment. My mother was a promiscuous woman that had three kids out of wedlock by three different dudes. That's my background. And it took so much self-education. It took so much therapy. It took so much reflection, so much energy to rise above that. And you can do it if you're willing to put in the work. Everybody I see is like, I'm trying to find a system or to use this common phrase. I want to work smart, not hard. Whenever I hear that, I hear, I don't want to work hard at all. I just want the easy way to get that money. Let me go ahead and explain something to you. Big money rarely comes without big effort. It is rare. It happens. Maybe you'll get lucky and win the lottery. Maybe you'll get lucky and have Uncle Jeffro that you didn't know about die and leave you all his money. Maybe it happens. It happens. 
But the reality that if you are going to become wealthy, rich, because you got to become rich, because you can't become wealthy before being rich, unless you win the lottery and just get a gang of money. And once again, the process of being wealthy is putting your money to work for you. Because here's a little news flash. If you somehow manage to get a hold of five million dollars, which is a lot of money, and you put that five million dollars to work in the profitable avenues of real estates and investments, your great great grandchildren would not have to work. Five million, not ten million, not twenty million, not thirty million, not forty million. Five million properly invested provides income for life. And one of the things that happens, because I get a lot of people who want to check my pockets. Hey, man, you know, you're giving all this advice. You're talking. Look at my receipts. I put them in the videos. If you talking smack, you ain't watching the videos and shame on you because this is quality content. This is stuff that will change your life. I've changed the lives of thousands of people because they did something. They did two things. They listened and they took action. They listened and they took action. This is one of the greatest things you could do for yourself is to take action, is to set yourself up for future success with realistic expectations because you're not going to get your million maybe many times I ain't with the first business the average millionaire earned their first million dollars you know first million collectively in 11 years 11 years of work putting in the work and you got folks out here who want to be Instagram YouTube famous and honestly as a YouTuber, the most successful YouTubers put in work. A lot of work. They do this. They um, put in the work. They do what they need to do. They collectively get busy with strategy with consultants and with their teams. A lot of the bigger YouTube channels, they have a team of five to 12 people. There's someone working on thumbnails, there's someone working on titles, there's someone working on promotion. These are full-time jobs. But you know, the best people make it look so easy and simple. They make it look effortless. And that's why so many of you who are not willing to work yourself as hard as you can. Because see, the thing is, if you go work as hard as you can to your limit, that's expandable. So once you get to that limit, it's like, okay, this is my limit. So I got to do some things a little differently to get past that limit. And then you go ahead and you work that hard. And you keep working. And you expand your limits. You expand your possibilities. You expand your life. You expand everything. And you get to the point where you become super powerful. You get to the point where regular bills don't even phase you like rent. Ain't nothing. Like I tell all my guys on child support, what you want to do is take whatever you pay in child support and five exit five times whatever you pay in child support that's what you want to make so it isn't that burden because this is one of the things that seems to happen to a lot of people who get in that situation is they start to downgrade because they don't want to pay her more money and they screw themselves they mess themselves up but if you want to be successful you got to put in the work. 
strategic hard work. Someone put in the question like, what if I don't have these skills that you mentioned? Develop them. I didn't know how to do YouTube. I didn't know how to edit a video. I didn't know how to shoot film. I, I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. But I learned. Because I put it in my head and I said, I can do this. So I'm going to do this. And I did it. You can do the same thing. But it's going to take time. That's what it's going to take. Time. And it's going to take time, effort, energy, and enthusiasm. And it's going to take it for years. Let me go ahead and just say it. It's going to take this type of collective hard work and effort for years. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. But this is your message for today. If you want to be successful, you want to make money, put yourself on the path of work and effort. All right, so you made it to the end of the video. What I want you to do is go to the front of the channel, pick your playlist, and start getting this free education to make your life much better, to make your life much happier, and to be successful and to live the good life.